Hi, this week I am participating in the 2022 edition of the Handmade Networks Wheel Reinvention Jam. It's a programming jam where we turn a fresh eye to quote unquote solved problems. You can find my entry for last year's edition in the description below. But this year I'm making something completely different and I want to introduce it with a little scenario. So let's say on one side uh, you have a developer who wants to develop uh, an app and distribute it for people to use. And on the other side, uh, you have a user who wants to use an app to carry on some tasks. How do we connect the two? Well, on the developer side, you have a few options. You can code your own platform layer and implement it for several operating systems. Or you can use a ready-made framework like Qt or an engine if you're making a game. And you would put your executable uh, on your website for users to download or you would distribute your app through an app store like Steam or Apple Store or Google Play or whatever. Or you could use web technologies and set up a website that runs your web application. From the user side, you can download an installer from a developer's website or an app store if it's compatible with your operating systems. Or you can just open your browser, go to web page, and use the app right away. And as an added bonus, you have the implicit promise that the app won't do much damage to your systems thanks to the browser sandboxing features. Well, at least it's less risky than running an executable downloaded from a random web page. So it's hard not to see how convenient the web is for both actors here. But on the other hand, the user experience for most web applications isn't so great. It's quite common for web apps to be a little janky or too slow or to require a specific browser like Chrome or even a specific version of a browser which kind of defeats the purpose. Furthermore, what if you want to work offline? Uh, what if the app updates behind your feet or just vanishes? You can't do anything about that. And for the developers, it's also a whole world of Byzantine APIs, poor data models, and uh, browser-specific quirks. So why is it that way? I think part of the reason why is that the web is layered the wrong way. In fact, it was never designed to be an application development and distribution and execution platform. It started as the idea of a global hyperlink knowledge base made of documents and it grew from there adding more dynamic features uh, stripping capabilities and at what point we realized well uh, i can code an entire application in the system and it will be easier to distribute and it would be safer to run uh, than native applications so in great part the success of the web as an application platform is the failure of the operating system but this comes at the price of piling layers upon layers of complexity on top of technology that was never meant to do what we're making it do. Now, imagine for a moment that we flip things upside down and we have an operating system that allows us to seamlessly download uh, application in a cross-platform format and run them in the sandbox environment. Uh, it will allow you to run application in a transient way, like we do with web apps today, uh, or to cache application in a local apps library for offline use. And the OS could support data sharing and hyperlinking across applications uh, in a unified and secure way. Uh, note that in this system, we could still have the documents part of the web and it would just be documents um, displayed by specific viewer apps uh, that would use the same underlying execution model as the other apps. So I think it would just be an overall simpler, better system just by virtue of layering the more uh, specific document models and the more uh, specific application features on top of a cross-platform sandbox execution model. So I hope you get my point, but this week I'm not going to reinvent a whole operating system from scratch. Uh, instead, I'm focusing on a proof of concept launcher slash sandbox that will allow you to run an application based on WebAssembly. So let's write a tentative feature list for that prototype. So we'll probably uh, need to define how an application is represented in that system so 
it's probably a wasm module and they have icon um i don't know capabilities uh, like a list of capabilities that the application uh, needs we will have to define the structure of our local application folder um we will need a launcher ui that uh, allows you to browse your local library and run transient or cached apps now we will want to um, launch applications in separate tabs and we will want that to be separate processes for security reasons and also stability reasons because you don't want a crashing app to uh, take down the whole uh, launcher and now we will need a way to draw things from applications so uh, perhaps uh, provide a GLES context and I'm thinking about GLES here because a lot of uh, web applications already target WebGL uh, so we'll have to provide a GLES implementations to them um, and yeah of course we will want to interpret wasm in tabs and now i'll try to give a glimpse of um, capability system so the idea is that when an application will need to interact with the outside world like uh, access the file system or the camera or whatnot it will uh, request the permission and the launcher will display a UI that will allow the, um, the user to uh, deny or accept the requests. And I'm no security guy, so I don't think I'll try to do something very fancy, but uh, it will just be to give an idea of how it will fit into the whole uh, system. And the last thing I was thinking about is um, since we aren't making a full browser, we don't have a, an easy way to uh, look for new applications, but we can have a workaround and have um, some web glue codes that will essentially uh, allow you to um, put a button on your website that launches, that, that runs the launcher, um, downloads and runs the app. Um, yeah, I think uh, we have more than enough on our plates for one week. Uh, we can always dream of uh, stretch goals like a simple UI API or like examples, uh, example applications beyond the um, the proof of concept one. So yeah, I think that would be enough. Uh, we'll see what we can do in a week. So thanks for watching and see you.